It started off with a coach in Gothenburg. I played for Yitex. I was asking so many questions. You know, I played forward up top by then, and uh, we talked about how moved off the ball and laid back and angles and so on. And, and he said, you know, he was very patient with me. And um, he said, you know what? I think you should come with me and, uh, you know, get the education. So I started up with the first step. And after that, I took all four steps and I got the highest education when I was 25. Uh, I was so into this and I really wanted to learn and be a student of the game. There's a story. Uh, we went to the summer camp and uh, prepared the team for, for the games. And um, uh, after the game, well, after the practice, we were talking about a certain specific situation. Kai Hansen and I, the coach. And we were talking and talking and talking. It was in the morning. And suddenly, we, the, the, the team, they just uh, left for lunch and they came back. We stood there talking about a certain situation in the box and that uh, he was, well, I was very inspired of the way he treated me and the fact that he allowed me to ask questions and uh, just great conversations. And after that, you know, um, I've been involved in, in, in the discussion with other coaches and uh, got the highest education in soccer in Sweden when I was 25, 26. Well, it, uh, it's funny, my, my biggest, well, the one I really look up to is the teacher I had uh, in, uh, what do you call it, gym? In sports? Yeah. In school. So I had her when I was 16, 17, and 18. Um, she was, uh, she played handball, and uh, she didn't teach me anything in soccer, of course, but in coaching. Fantastic, she, uh, she had 20 students in front of her, and everybody thought, she's looking at me. So she paid attention, and she challenged me by, you know, asking questions, and put me in different situations, and encouraged me, to go out my comfort zone. And that's why I started to play volleyball. <laughs> it's crazy, but I played some games in school, of course. Uh, I was fascinated by the way she treated people and treated the, the, the class. Uh, when I look around, uh, coaches, Kai Hansen, the first one in GTEx, he did many good stuff for me. And I've had six, seven national coaches, I think. Uh, it was one, uh, Ben Simonsson, he's a thinker. Ah, he is he's excellent to, to talk to uh, about soccer. And um, that's one man, one-on-one uh, -on -one talk helped me a lot. Uh, the one that uh, inspired me the most, actually, he is a weird guy, Ulf Flifors husband of uh, Marika Lifos, uh, Domanska Lifos. And she, well, he has a, a, a leadership that is questionable, but he's a great guy. And it's something with the way he talked to people and talked to me into the team, I liked a lot. And he was very in you know, knowledge in, in soccer, of course. So there's quite a few people around me, but it started off with my uh, teacher in sports, actually. Um, uh, knowledge of soccer, of the game, of course. You, you, you need to know your stuff uh, and uh, what you want. Yeah, I think it's very important to find uh, a philosophy. This is the uh, philosophy of soccer, this is what I want to play. And um, uh, to reach the player. Uh, it's a leadership, the philosophy of leadership. I'm not, I'm not saying is this is the best way to do it, it's my way of doing it, and that you really trust. Um, you do have to respect the game. And uh, I think, uh, it helped me a lot, I played in the highest level. You don't have to play in the highest level, but you need to be around the highest level to, to make sure what it, what it takes to, to, um, to be a good player, uh, demanding certain things on the field. Um, but it's, it's, 
it's about philosophy in soccer, philosophy and leadership. Uh, for me, what helped me most is make the practice as game-like as possible and put them in the place, put them in environment where they have to make the decision. This is a players game and that's one of my, my, my philosophy when it comes to, to leadership, asking questions. So if you're able to reach the player, you have an idea and you know what it takes to get to the highest level. The, the thing is, how can you get the players to understand, accept it, respect it, and like the way you want it? That is the tricky part. Uh, and if you can do that um, and help them with asking questions, you can reach the highest level. I, I'd say it's, uh, it changed my soccer a little bit. Uh, I was so into, I was interested and I, I was hungry for soccer. And after taking the first co course, I, I started to study in a different ways and I started to look at the games a little bit different ways. In the very beginning, it was, it was uh, my coach said, now, nah, you're too much of a coach right now. Try to be a player. I remember that. Because I want to do everything. No, nah, no, nah, you have to concentrate a little bit on your game, your strength. I want to do, you know. Uh, and I think it was a year in, in GTX. But um, uh, after that, it's been, it's, it's been encouraging, it's been inspiring, and I think it's such a good idea to, to if you're into coaching, do it as, as soon as possible, and then it can last forever. So if, if you take a course today, you can wait for another three years, take the next one, or four years, but if, if you're a student of the game and you like a little bit of coaching leadership, go ahead, do it.